Hi, Eric Linask here at uh, Interop in Las Vegas, and I'm talking now with uh, Cradle Point's Don Bush. Don, thank you for joining me. Good morning. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, first, congratulations uh, Cradle Point, uh, uh, on Cradle Point's being named winner of uh, one of uh, TMC's WiMAX Distinction Awards this year. Thank you. We're, we're very happy with that. Um, you know, so, so that brings us, I guess, to some of the stuff that we're talking about, which really is uh, connectivity and, and wire, connectivity through wireless networks. Um, you know, we talked about it earlier, a lot of people using mobile broadband uh, USB devices or mobile broadband, broadband cards of various types. Um, sometimes there are challenges getting uh, connectivity with those, but you guys have a solution uh, for that. We do, and uh, when Cradle Point first came out, it was, uh, it was this nice little hot spot that basically you take your USB card, plug it in, turn it on, and now you have a hot spot for up to 16 people uh, about 100 to 150 feet of range with enterprise level security and you never have to manage the software manager that normally you'd have to put on your laptop. This does all the management for you. It's a true router. When you get into the firmware you can make different settings for if you're using it with VoIP or with data or with other things. It really changes that routing solution. So if you need it for a business application we love this little guy. We've taken the same technology and we've put it into a business class router. Now a router is a router, right? You've got a T1 or a, or, or a cable or DSL coming in. You've got your Ethernet gigabit ports here. And so that's really terrific. We've got a great router that does that. But what happens when that T1 or that cable goes out? Now just, just for instance, a national average, DSL goes out between 8 and 12 hours a month nationally. Well, if I'm running a flower shop or a restaurant or a small company and that DSL goes out, business stops. I can't take credit cards. I can't send emails. I can't do my research. It's a really difficult thing to do. Well, with the Cradle Point MBR 1200, simply plug that modem in there. And now if that T1 goes out, it will automatically fail over to my 3G, 4G connection. And that can be, I'm showing Sprint here, it's got a 3G, 4G card, which is terrific. But it can be AT&T, Verizon, Rogers in Canada, Bell, lots of places around the world. So that I'm never just down. If my internet connection goes away or there's trouble with the service, it fails over. And when that service is back online, it fails back. So me and my office or my company continues to do business. Can I attach multiple cards to that at once? Absolutely. In fact, if you'll notice on the side here, there's places for up to five broadband cards so that not only you can use any company that you want, but if you need extra bandwidth and you want to put more than one modem on here, it's still cheaper than a T1 line to put multiple modems on here. And our routers load balance that so you get maximum throughput. If you have VoIP phones in the office, you can use VoIP phones on this and go into the software, go into the firmware itself, and actually optimize it for VoIP packets. So it gives VoIP packets data prior priority over data or other things. So you get clear, crisp calls. What size office is this ideally suited for? You know, this is perfect for small offices up to say 15 or 20 people, um, remote offices. It's great for temporary offices. We were just talking to some guy that sets up construction trailers. Try putting a DSL line in a construction trailer. It takes about a month or six weeks to get it. It costs more because it's a temporary line and there's a high chance that that line's gonna get cut in the middle of all the construction. So they drop these in, plug them in, put a modem on there, turn it on, and they're networked inside that little trailer. So temporary offices, kiosks, and those types of things are great applications for this. Or any, any mobile, mobile type business environment. Mobile type businesses or smaller businesses that really can't afford that rack server that you might have with all the IT support and cost that goes along with it. So speaking of support and management, how much uh, is required for management? Well, you know, I, I'm not an IT guy, so I can set this up. It's pretty simple. You plug it in, you plug your router in, you turn it on, and you go onto the internet and put one password in, and now you can do all the functionality of a router from simple, basic, all the way up to advanced when you start doing some very, very technical things on a router. So uh, until you get to some of those technical things, like maybe if you're dealing with VoIP phones and things like that and you have to get into the firmware and make some adjustments, you don't need to be an IT genius. You don't. And we did that on purpose because most small businesses 
medium-sized businesses either can't afford or don't have that resource available to them, they've got to be able to do it themselves. And we make it really easy. Plug it in, turn it on, go online. How do people get a hold of them? How do people get a hold of Cradle Point? We're online, cradlepoint.com, but these are sold at many, many resellers online. Um, you search Cradle Point, you'll find them. We sell them ourselves, but we run through the channel, so local resellers, Best Buy, uh, Micro Center, some of those places, Fry's carries them. Online, there's a lot of different places. Excellent. We've been talking here uh, at Interop with Don Bush from Cradle Point. Don, thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks, Eric.